everyone, I'm Frank Price. Welcome to Advanced Training Made Simple. Today we're going to teach these young dogs to look past short guns. I'm using Kane. Kane's about nine months old and he's been through some of this. I like to do this just as soon as you can get these dogs out and reliably picking up birds. The way we have this set up is we have a short gun sitting about 20 yards from the line and we have another one that's out there probably 60 yards or so. The gun that's gonna be throwing this is about 60 yards out. And to begin with, he's going to throw away from the gun. I'll walk the dog out and the first thing he's going to see is going, obviously will be the short gun, but I don't want him looking at that short gun first. Whenever we settle in and I'm getting ready to throw a mark, I want him focusing on the long gun and not head swinging back toward the short gun. All right, here we go. And once again, this is Kane. He's a little bit of a high drive dog to say the least. So everything I do with him is very slow. Here, Kane. Kennel, sit. Heel. And what I'll do is bring him to the mat, sit him down, and you can see right now, he's already looking at the guns. Sit. And he's looking long. He's looking exactly where I want to be. Sit. Oh, you look at him and think, well, he might be a little excited. That's because he's a little excited. Here. Here. Mm. Okay. And notice right now where his focus is. Now he glanced back to Steve, but I'll push him back to Michael. Michael's on the long gun. Mark. Kane. I hope you could see it then. When Michael threw a great, nice, high, long throw, <clears throat> he watched the bird all the way to the ground, but he glanced back at Michael. As long as he's looking at the gunner, I'm not going to send him. I waited till he looked back at the spot on the ground. Here, Kane, sit. Good boy. Uh, sit, leave it. What I've done is move Michael over. So we've tightened the line up with a short gun and a long gun. It tempts the dog to look back at the short gun more. Come here. Here, sit. Mark. Kane. Okay, nice mark, nice mark. And he did a great job then. He kept his eyes on the bird, did not swing back to the gunner, and never even looked at the short gun. If you look behind me, you'll see the two guns almost lined up this time. I've moved Michael to where he's actually on the right side of the short gun, almost in line. And on this throw, we're gonna have him throw outside again, away from the short gun. Something else I need to tell you right now, if you'll notice, I have the short gun sitting. I have the long gun standing, ready to throw. That's to help these young dogs focus on that long gun. Mark. Kane. Got a boy. Okay, he's done a great job on this. Um, actually, a little bit too good. 
Good boy, Kane. But we're gonna make this a little bit harder this next time. Sit. Okay, this repetition will add a degree of difficulty. Steve's on the short gun, and I'm gonna have him first stand up with a bird in his hand. I've moved Michael deeper so it makes Steve close up, stand up, or stand out a whole lot better. And this time you'll probably see Kane look at Steve. I'll tell him no and just ease him back. Okay, let's do it, buddy. Mark. Long. Nope. Sit. Long. Good. Mark. Cane. Well, that put another element in it. It landed right directly behind that hay bale back there. But actually, he did pretty good on that. He, uh, he glanced over at Steve early and then was able to focus back. And that's, that's what you'll see in it. If, if the dog has too much trouble focusing on, that, uh, on the long gun, have the short gun stop moving the bird and see if that'll work. And if that does, here, buddy, here. See it? And if he's still focusing on that short gun, have the short gunner sit down again. And that should do it. Okay. Okay, on this one, I've moved the gunner over to the right so he's closer in line with the short gun again. I'm going to have Steve stand up and wave it and then stop. Make sure he's looking at the long gun. And I'm going to have Michael throw this one to the right this time. All right. Mark. Long. No, long. Stop. Okay. Now, if you'll notice that time, I had Steve really get animated and swing that bird a little bit, so it forced him to look at it. And when he did, all I do is just nudge him back just a little bit and say long or whatever cue you use. But here, here, Kane, fetch it up. Sit. And we're going to stop on that right there. That was, that was really, really a nice job by him. We'll... Uh, We'll do this again later with a younger dog. On starting these dogs out young like this, they don't have to be perfect. And you can do this with bumpers. Um, they don't have to be completely transitioned to birds. Do it with bumpers. Move the guns around. Just make sure when you do it that you don't release these dogs unless they're looking at the bird or at least the spot where the bird fell. And don't call for it unless you know that he's looking at that long gun.